Hello? Hello and welcome to History and Heritage at Lincoln. I'm John Morrison and I'm the head of the school. These are the programmes that we offer in the school and we're going to be talking a bit about them today. The first thing I want to say though is I'm John Morrison and I'm the head of the school. These are the programmes that we offer. And I'm going to be talking about some of these today. And after I've finished, you'll be able to sign up to join a discussion on the particular programme that you're interested in and hear a presentation and talk directly to people who are involved in the programme. The first thing I want to talk about today is the student experience. We're committed to providing the very best experience for all our students from initial arrival right through to graduation day. And central to that is the experience of the city that we live in. This city loves the university. The university is seen as helping develop and support the city and as a driver for very positive things in Lincoln. I've only been here for a year and um, it's not usual that. I've really been struck by it and it does make for a very happy community and a good city to come to university in. It's not just me saying that or various government statistics, our students say that. And what you see here is something called the National Student Survey. This is something that all final year students complete just as when they're coming towards the end of their degree and they're asked a whole series of questions about what their experience has been like. And this is what, the, what history um, says about history students say about their experience in Lincoln. 97% almost are satisfied with what happened and that puts us ninth in the country out of more than 90 history departments in Britain. So we've been had good scores like this for a while now so it's very positive all of it and the reason for that is because we're as excited about our subjects as you are. Now we teach on our new and well-built and exciting campus and we're based in a building called Nicola de la Haye. Strange name, Nicola de la Haye was a major figure in medieval England. She actually twice led the defence of Lincoln Castle against sieges. After the death of her second husband she actually remained as the holder, the keeper of the castle until she retired um, on grounds of old age 
1226. So we teach in Nicola de la Haye. Actually, we teach all over the place. These are one of the lecture theatres and one of the seminar rooms that we teach in. And next year, we will be teaching on campus. It will be a bit different from what's happened before, um, but it will be a blend of face-to-face -face teaching and online. But there will be face-to-face -face sessions every week um, in your degree programme and in all your modules. And all the teaching centrally, whether it's online or face-to-face, -face, will be what all good university teaching is about. It will be about debate and discussion. This is not about professors telling you things. It's about asking questions of the world as you understand it, interpreting what you see, hear, read, and arguing for your own reasoned conclusions. Now, just think about that for a minute. You've an opportunity here to spend three years listening to, talking to, debating with people who are interested in precisely the same things that you're interested in. And the people that you're going to be doing that with are these. This is some of the books, the covers of some of the books by some of the people that work in the school. Now, again, government surveys, the, the research excellence framework this time, but government surveys will tell you that they think these are good. But what matters is that the people you're going to be taught by, going to argue with, are the people who are right at the front of setting the standards for modern discussion in philosophy, modern history, classical studies, art history, American studies, conservation, history. I'm an art historian and all my colleagues do what they do because they have a passion for it, whether they're art historians or philosophers or whatever. I don't write art history and read art history because it's my job. I do it because I'd rather do that than do anything else. That's true of everybody in the school. We love doing this and talking about it and teaching it. And I know that I'm still learning by talking to and arguing with students about it. A good bit of what we do is based on resources that are here in Lincoln, unique to Lincoln. And there are some very interesting ones, the Wren Library, Great Historic Buildings, Lincolnshire Archives. Um, central, maybe, though, is the Cathedral Library. And we have an original copy of the Magna Carta. There's only four of them. Um, and it, this hugely influential document signed by King John in 1215, we use this. We use these things in our teaching. Uh, we take classical studies students to the Archaeological Museum, art history students to the Cathedral, um, we use the Wren Library with our history students. All of those things are central to us. We don't just use what happens to be here, though. Being in Lincoln matters to studying in the school. But we don't just rely on those things, the surroundings of our city. We contribute much of our own, many new things. So what you're seeing here are two conservation labs. We teach conservation, obviously. We produce graduates moving on to, into careers in conservation. But people in other programmes in the school can also take modules in conservation. So this is an interesting, innovative and different sort of set of degree programmes than you'll see elsewhere. It's not just in conservation that we're doing that. If you're studying philosophy, we run a philosophy salon in a pub in the old part of the city, a pub called the Cardinal's Hat. And we invite major philosophers to come along and present on a particular topic, and then we debate with them. And that debate's open to everybody. We'll get 50 or 60 people coming along, a mixture of university staff, university students from philosophy and elsewhere, students from across the university, really, and people from Lincoln. Lincoln people coming along, talking, debating, fundamental philosophical thinking in a great setting. We don't just care about the degree that you get. It's not just about getting a good degree. It's about moving on and beyond that. And we place people, end up with people in jobs in heritage, museums, law, a whole range of other things. And one of the reasons we we're good at doing that is because of the opportunities that we have in Lincoln to volunteer, to work on school projects, to have internships and placements. And we have increasing numbers of people moving on from their undergraduate degree into our master's programmes, into our um, MA programmes um, across the school. We don't just care about your degree. We care about you 
all around, everything about you as a person. You'll be given a personal tutor as soon as you arrive, and that's the person that you would turn to, your first port of call, as it were, for any issues that you might have across the board, not just academic things. So with all of that said, I'm hoping that today, when you join one of those discussion programmes specific to your degree, that you can talk about history and what you'll learn, or modern history, or philosophy. If you come to philosophy, there's a picture there of somebody wearing a VR headset. We do that. We use VR in teaching first year moral philosophy. I've tried this. It's interesting. It presents you with a set of moral problems, but you have to solve them by acting, which is very different from reading about them and coming to a reasoned decision about what you would do. When you actually have to physically act out your decision, it can be, it's very absorbing, it's believable, provokes a bit disturbing sometimes. It's an interesting approach. All of our programmes are full of these sort of innovative ideas. So if you're in classical studies, art history, American studies, all of them have that in them. Now, it seems a bit odd when I'm talking to you about potentially coming to Lincoln to say you can go somewhere else, but you can, and it's an asset, it's central to Lincoln. You have an opportunity, particularly in second year, to spend a semester abroad. And we have very good links with uh, colleges in America, Canada, the Czech Republic, Holland, a whole range of places. And it adds, augments your experience and makes you a uh, more interesting rounded prospect for anyone who's thinking about uh, potentially interviewing you or employing, employing you. Lincoln's a great place. It's a great place to study all of the programmes in this school. It's a great historic city. I've mentioned the Magna Carta, but who knew that Lincoln produced the first ever tank? This is an interesting place to be. It's a safe, inexpensive and beautiful city and we have a lovely central campus in it. I hope that you'll consider coming here and joining one of our programmes in the School of History and Heritage. So thanks for listening to me, and I hope we'll see you at Lincoln.